So welcome back. So beyond what arrives in a box for people, we do a couple of other little things as well, which is always really fun. We find bottles for people. So it might be someone's birth year or someone had a bottle of something on a Greek island somewhere. Please don't come to us with that. That's pretty tricky, but it can be done. You might need a bottle of something you had in a restaurant, which you really enjoy, but you need more of it for home, or you want to share it with a friend, or you need something special for somebody you work with. Beyond that, we also find things that you know, we come across, we say, we're going to buy some of that and we're going to let people know about it. So a lot of these things only come in small amounts, maybe a great variety you're not familiar with, maybe something completely new to us that we get excited about. So I'm going to open two random acts of wine here, two things that I actually adore. The first thing we're going to look at will be a muscadet. So muscadet is so confusing, but so good and also can be complete rubbish. This is not rubbish. So we're looking at a producer called Boneto Hutu. This is 16 vintage. A really lovely guy brings this in. He brings in a small parcel, it's a little bit of hassle of that. So it's great to support these people. Muscadet. So this is where it gets complicated. Muscadet is a wine style and it's made from something called Melon de Bourgogne. Now, if you're falling asleep, I don't blame you at this point because it's quite tiring. Also tiring can be going on holiday to somewhere wonderful like Numea, I've done it, and try and drink a good Muscadet every day. Not necessarily easy because there's a lot of rubbish made. Again, this kind of falls into that kind of thing of everyone's on holiday, they're having a great time, they don't care what they drink. Importantly, the tricky thing here is look for the word surly, left on leads. You know that someone's working harder. So they've left it on leads to build an extra textual quality. What these guys do really well is build texture. Take the wine, leave it on leads, and build and build and build. So Velon de Bourgogne was planted through the Loire Valley and we're heading towards the Atlantic. And as you get close to the Atlantic, you're eating more and more seafood. Particularly the people who had no money were lucky enough to be having lots and lots of oysters. This wine is designed to have with oysters. So, perfect match. But the quality is in the texture. It smells terrific. Yum, give me some oysters right now and a fresh squeeze of lemon, but this one will actually do the job. That if the lemon's not there, bang, this will work itself. This is beautiful. So this is Melon de Bourgogne. Get on board with this, a little bit of muscadet action.